Hello everybody, it's Lee. I'm here to show a new motor being put out by T-Motor. I'm going to throw it on the test stand, give you some stats, and in a second video I'm going to throw it on a new airplane. Right here on Windcatcher RC. This is a new motor by T-Motor. It's an AS2814 and the KV is 900. The weight is 111 grams and it's rated for 3S and 4S. I'm going to test both today. I'll be using this APC prop on the 4S and I'll be using a 12x6 APC on the 3S. Today on 4S I'll be running my Tattoo R-Line, which in, it's in really good shape, and my uh, Tattoo 2200. Um, th both these batteries are in good condition, and uh, when they're fully charged, they should give us some good statistics. I've got a brand new test stand here I have not used yet, so uh, we're going to give this a go today also. So uh, let's see what's in the box here from T-Motor. Here it says Aviation Power. I have opened this uh, previously, just take a quick look at it, but uh, it comes with the QC test, your silicate to keep it dry, your hardware, your X motor mount, and what you've all been waiting for is the motor. Well, that looks like a pretty beefy motor. Wow, the windings look really good in there too. I don't know if you can see that here. Got some pretty heft to it. Feels good. Yeah, so it looks like there's two options with this motor. Uh, you can mount it. Um, the the X the X mount goes in the back, and then you can run the um, run that through your firewall and run a prop right off the shaft. Or there's uh, another shaft in here that you can screw on, which I, I prefer these. Uh, it's got th it looks like it has three three holes here for that uh, for that other shaft. So you've got all your screws that you need. It looks like they gave us a spare uh, grub screw. They gave us um, two different washers for the prop. Those four screws mount the X plate to the back of the motor here. So you got these these screws here, these three, to mount your aluminum shaft. right there onto the motor which I prefer this method when I can nice and that's got knurling on it too to help hold the prop all right now that's ready to take a prop all right so I'm all set up here with the motor test stand um, I don't have it properly mounted to a solid board yet I uh, just got it I will have it mounted real soon here but um, I wanted to test this motor uh, as soon as possible and have this video prepared so um, this is the best I can do for today so it should be in uh, a tractor configuration and uh, all I have to do is plug in the battery here and get it going I do have to say that this motor is well built I love how solid it is when you pick it up and hold it when you work with it, when you put the screws in, everything, just everything is just quality. I love it. All right, so I'm going to hold on to the stand because it's not secure, but uh, we should be good here. Now, I haven't tried this yet. This is the first time I've used the stand. All right, it looks like it's working. We're zeroed out here. And uh, let's see what this can do.
This test was on 3S with the APC 12.6 prop. Now I'm going to switch the props over to the 11 by 5.5 and run it on 4S and see what we got. All right, we're all set up for uh, the 4S battery on the APC 11 by 5.5. I have to tell you, after changing out that prop, I held the motor and it was just barely warm running on 3-cell. That was really nice. All right, we're zeroed out. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's cool. Wow, that thrust is amazing. I can't wait to put this on a plane. Uh, I was thinking trainer, but I think this might actually be better for a 3D plane uh, with that amount of thrust or a pretty big trainer. This is going to be a lot of fun when I get it on a plane. Can't wait. I'd like to thank T-Motors for sending me the motor. Uh, full disclaimer, they did send me the motor for review. Uh, they did not tell me what to say about it or anything else. So these are all my own opinions of this motor. And I have to tell you, I, I absolutely love it. I, I cannot wait to put this on an airplane. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video.